versus the flat earth and uh, an interesting thing uh, crossed my mind when I was observing uh, the last uh, uh, term of the moon cycle where the moon was close to the sun and uh, what I observed was kind of interesting and uh, you're going to see an uh, going to see at the end of this uh, where I was outside actually trying to show you the, the concept to where it physically makes uh, sense. So what, what I want you to do is take a look for a moment and let's say uh, this is the earth surface right here. We'll go with the, the, the round concept. Okay and um, right here we have the Sun and right here we have the moon and now uh, uh, as we all know the sun moves faster than the moon so the moon uh, moves uh, one day slower than the sun so uh, the earth is here and it's moving in that direction so uh, the Jesuits tell us so if you're standing here and you look up what you see is the Sun rising over the horizon and the moon you see it with a slit like this okay so that makes sense right there, here comes the Sun and, uh, and it's just lighting that part but as the day goes on, this is the part that gets interesting, as the day goes on, you're standing here. Well, now the sun is, is, is higher. So shouldn't you see more sunlight on that side of the moon if the moon were round, if it were a round ball? So uh, now let's, let's move you underneath the sun. You're right here. Okay. Now, shouldn't you be seeing half of the moon being lit by the sun? Because it's it's moving across. The light's now behind it. And then, as you get over here, and you look up, you should see almost the whole moon lit up. Right? That makes sense. Because as that ball is crossing the sky, it's going to get more and more light on it. So over here, you're just going to see a little sliver of light. But over here, you're going to see all the light shining on it. But it doesn't change. It just continues to stay the same little sliver of light. That doesn't make any sense, does it? So... Um, I welcome your input. If you think uh, there's logic and reasoning here that I'm missing, I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear what you've got to say. Otherwise, if you follow what what this is showing, showing me anyway, um, kind of looks like the Earth is flat, huh? But I'd love to hear from the the round people that uh, tell me that uh, I'm insane and. Uh, uh, and hate me for for looking at something other than what fits their world and their model or their programming where no new information can go in the Tupperware brain people nothing in nothing out it seals in all freshness so um, if you have an idea as to what might be going on here that I'm missing I'd love to hear from you so um, 
at, at not so stay tuned here and you'll see um, you'll see what I was talking about when I was outside Hi, this is Bill Ryan and welcome to my world. I, uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is uh, daytime, the, uh, about nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, the contrails are, are gone. And uh, with regards to the moon, if you can see this, it's, uh, it's a quarter moon in the daytime. Okay. Now, as the moon crosses the sky, it's it's going to be setting, and yet the sun's behind me. So if the if this is the moon right here, and you can see. You can see the, it doesn't exactly mimic the same, the same setup. And then as the sun moves across the sky and starts to set, shouldn't it be a full moon? So it would start up over here and be hardly even noticeable. And then as it moves across the sky, it starts to become more and more full. Does that make any sense? How can it remain the same as it crosses the sky with the sun behind it? How does that work? Maybe somebody can explain that one to me because I don't get it. That doesn't make any sense. Over here, we're standing on the earth. Over here, there's the moon. Then it crosses the sky and you can see it starts to fill with light and as it sets, it'll be a full moon. How does it remain not a full moon as it crosses the sky? How does that happen? Maybe somebody can explain that one to me. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. So. Um, you can see that it, it, uh, when you're out outdoors in the sunlight, as I showed you how that, that worked, it actually does make sense, doesn't it? So um, I would love to get your feedback, love to get your opinion, and uh, you're welcome to leave your, your comments and criticisms below because I'm, um, I'm kind of a tough guy. I can handle all your little nasty remarks, all your immature, childish, idiotic comments. You're welcome to leave them and I'd love to hear from you. And if you have a brain and you actually can, can figure this out and explain it to me and show me what I'm doing wrong, I'd love to see that as well. All right, well, thank you for watching this video.